The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Let's go right to the phone lines. Uh, Mike Zulo, are you with us today? Carl, how are you today? I'm doing great. Mike, it's so good to have you. It's been a long time since we've had you on the show, but I know that you've been up to your, eye, up to your eyeballs and alligators over the last several months, and you've been traveling the country as you have been immersed in this uh, now what's turned into a uh, pretty in-depth criminal investigation. But it's good to have you back. Listen, there's a lot of things I'd like to cover in this first segment, so let me begin by let, – let me ask you, just give a general overview for our audience about where you are what's going on, what it is that you're doing. And I'm saying that because there are people that are still, you know, just now tuning into all of this stuff. I mean, all over the Internet. We've got people coming to the P.P. Simmons News and Ministry Network all the time that are, that are you know, coming across our stuff on this, and they're saying, well, I, di- I didn't know this. What's going on? And we're having to catch them up. So, so just kind of give a general overview as though we have a lot of listeners that need to know, and plus this will inform folks that have been keeping up with it all along. Well, to make it brief, um, we are continuing a over now 28-month investigation uh, conducted by the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office under the direction of Sheriff Joseph Arpaio, uh, looking into allegations that the birth certificate of President Barack Obama that was released by the White House back in 2011 is, in fact, fraudulent. Subsequently, we did provide two press conferences pointing to the evidence that we believe the document is fabricated and that leads to a lot of other questions. Right. However, the investigation continued past those press conferences. Right. And it continues right up until the time we're talking now. Um, as an outgrowth, during an investigation, and you know this from your law enforcement background, you get other information. And other information surfaced as a result of this birth certificate investigation right. that has now prompted Sheriff Arpaio to open up a second investigation. And this is a criminal investigation into other matters that I am not at privilege to discuss openly yet, but I can tell you that when the sheriff's office is finished, um, that they will be compelling, they will be mind-blowing, and they will be disconcerting. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I know. <laughs> the, the little bit that I know of it is absolutely astounding. Earth-shattering is what I said. Universe-shattering is a word that you've used, and uh, then the words you just used. So, so I know that, uh, of course, it's uh, all over the internet, and uh, you know, we've reported, and you have said, and I have said that shooting for a March revelation date, and my understanding, that's still the date we're shooting for. But, but I've been telling people, and you can confirm or deny this, but I've been telling people that look. Uh, there's been no hard and fast day set, and even that March time period could shift as you continue to work because it's my understanding, and I'm going to be very general here. You can be more detailed if you want, but it's my understanding that even recently you guys have uncovered more stuff. So, I mean, it, 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 you're shooting for March, but it might even be a little delayed if you guys keep finding more and more of this heavy-duty stuff. Am I anywhere near right on all of that? You're correct, Carl. I I don't know how this is all going to play out. I know that the criminal investigation that we're working on now, Sheriff Arpaio has dedicated resources and two full-time Maricopa County Sheriff's Office detectives, and these are seasoned pros that are working this. These are the guys that go hunt down the really bad guys. You don't want these guys trying to find you because they will find you. Right. Um, And I can only tell you that it's fluid, it's evolving, and it's very intense. Right. And... There may be, and I haven't discussed it with Sheriff Arpaio yet, but right now, and I'm only putting it out there as a possibility, there may be actually two events. There may be an event held specifically for the new findings and revelations of the birth certificate that will hands down destroy any argument trying to allege that it's a credible document. And there may be a a different, you know, press conference, if you will, relating to this criminal investigation. Right. Even though they are simultaneously running, The sheriff's office resources that have been dedicated now are to the criminal investigation on matters I can't disclose to you. Right. Right. Okay. And and, and listen, I I mean, who am I? Uh, I'm not giving you advice, but just listening to what you're saying, that sounds like uh, there's some great wisdom in that by by dealing with the two separately uh, as you bring these things forward. Because even though the birth certificate issue, I think, is hugely 
uh, constitutional and perhaps criminal, <laughs> and, and it goes to the fabric of, of who we are as a nation. Uh, but in your investigation into that, it led into all of these other avenues that are deeply, deeply criminal, and we know that for sure now. And so it, it really did open up two branches of investigation. So it, 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 might, it might set better with the public and be more palatable and understandable if you do kind of present them each separately. I, I don't know. Am I making sense? You, you are. And what it is is my work with the birth certificate still goes on, and that is totally uh, being absorbed by the Posse organization. Right. And I am here assisting on the criminal investigation with Maricopa County detectives. Um, that's the way it's going to be. Sheriff Arpaio felt that this was the best way right. to utilize resources and asked me if I would assist if I would assist going forward. And it's not going to be clear to the listening public until they understand yeah. the whole picture, I which agree. I'm not at liberty to discuss. Right. But even though they're separate, they're running in tandem. Right. I, I agree. It's, it's difficult for some folks to grasp, and, and I'm not talking down to those folks because they don't know what we know, but as soon as they do know what we know, then, then I believe they'll understand exactly why you're doing it the way you're doing it. So w would you then agree that when you get to the birth certificate issue that – that that case, that's really a done deal. I mean, I'm going to use this word. I've used it many times. But all of the people out there who have been uh, marginalized and, and, and uh, uh, you, the pejorative has been tagged upon them as birthers. But what you're saying is those birthers, we're not talking about the people who where Obama has, is born because you have not done that. But we're talking about people who say there's something wrong with this birth certificate. It's just not right. And you're saying to those people, you guys were 100% right all along. You have been vindicated. Is that correct? As this is unfolding, and the birth certificate matter will be concluded the day the sheriff decides to make the announcement. This is still ongoing, but I could tell you that if I was a betting man, I would bet the farm that this outcome, when it's going to be revealed, is going to be, hands down, that thing was fraudulently created for the intent and purpose to defraud. Right. And, and that's the key. That's, that's why I say that it is hugely important, even though the Obama operatives and the Obama bots and the leftist media have tried to marginalize that. They've tagged the pejorative on it. They've called everybody like me and others who have just raised their eyebrows when this thing was put up on the White House website and said, that doesn't look right, that doesn't smell right. Immediately we were tagged as birthers and wing nuts and tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorists. But, but what you're saying is, and what I've been telling people is, wait, wait till it comes out because you were right. Something was bad wrong with it. And that, you know, for the purpose of defrauding the American people, I mean, that in and of itself is earth-shattering to me, Mike. I don't, I don't know that that's ever been done in the history of the United States before. Well, it hasn't, Carl. And if you combine that aspect with the investigation that is ongoing on the criminal side of this, right. it will be universe-shattering. I know. I, I know. When it, 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 yeah, that's uh, yeah. Let me let me hush. I'm just <laughs> just about said too much. Well, let me listen. We've got about three minutes before break, and we can even talk about this on the other side if we run out of time. But let's go ahead and broach this topic. So, I, I know the Obama bots are going crazy. They want desperately to know what you know. They want to know what I know. They want to know the the uh, evidence that you have. And of course, you're not going to reveal that, and I'm not going to reveal that. But just the other day, a couple of days ago, on Orly Tate's website, and I find this interesting because we had a caller here to the show last week who was talking about Orly Tate's and some of her investigations, uh, and, and I think it was the day after or two days after, this letter appears on Orly Tate's website, Dr. Orly Tate, uh, stating that, basically, I'm just going to paraphrase, that the letter was supposed to have been from me. It was signed by, get this, the Reverend Dr. Carl Gallup's MDiv. Well, whoever wrote that is an idiot, because first of all, I don't, I, I'm not a doctor. Second of all, I never signed my name the Reverend Carl Gallup's, much less the Reverend Doctor. And MDiv stands for Master of Divinity. So if I was a doctor, why would I end it with Master of Divinity? You know, I mean, yeah. I mean, whoever 
wrote it is an imbecile. Uh, but, but they signed it, the Reverend Dr. Carl Gallus. But the gist of the letter was, supposedly, I had written a letter telling Orly Tates to, quote, stand down from her investigation. And the gist of the letter was that I was kind of representing you and Arpaio and telling her, look, uh, you know, I'm kind of close to Arpaio and we want you to stand down. Well, that's ridiculous at the face of it. First of all, I'm not that close to Joe Arpaio. Second of all, uh, you and I have become friends and you're on the show. But I don't tell you what to do. I wouldn't dream of telling you what to do. And I'm not your spokesperson. I'm not the official spokesperson. I'm a radio host and a pastor and a patriot. So the whole letter was just screwy, but she thought I sent it, so she put it up there. In the meantime, Orly and I have talked, and, and I've written a letter, and she posted it by there where I, wherein I confirmed I did not write the letter. But what do you, what do you make of that? I, is that panic on the part of the Obots? You know, I don't know if it's panic. I don't know if it's just them trying to cause infighting between, quote, birthers, which is one of their goals. But the one thing that I can tell you is that conversation that was relayed in that letter never took place. Right. As a matter of fact, from my perspective, and I know your perspective, we commend Orly Pace for pursuing what she's pursuing. Yeah, you I know, said the Maricopa that. County Sheriff's Office has no legal authority to pursue that stand. Right. And you guys are not connected to Orly Tate's at all, in any way. At all. Yeah. I mean, we, we, you know, you and I talked, Carl, we knew what the outcome was going to be before it happened. We knew what they were going to do, what right. they were going to say. Um, that was no shocker that, you know, they're dancing the dance. Right. But that letter never happened. That conversation never happened. Right. And Orly Tate's, her organization, obviously, is no threat to our investigation. Right. And we pose no threat to her. Right. Um, as, uh, you know, as, as it really runs, I have no duty to turn anything over to Orly. I have no duty to turn anything over to anyone else right. except the Sheriff Joseph Arpaio when the time is right. Exactly. And then he'll turn it over to the world when the time is right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I just I thought it was uh, all very interesting and, and really quite bizarre, actually. But, you know, on my last show, and I don't know if you heard it or not. I know you don't sit around and listen to my shows all the time. But but I somebody called about Orly and and, you know, I commended her as well. I said, we appreciate what she's doing on her end. Um, but right now I'm more focused on what Sheriff Arpaio is doing just because of my connection to you and because you've been on the program so much. And I happen to know what's going on. So, you know, I. I I don't have anything bad to say about Orly Tates. That's her business is her business, and I commend her uh, for what she's doing. But I didn't write the letter, would never do it, even if I felt that way, which I don't. I would not have written that letter and put it on her website. So. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Uh, anyway. Well, listen, there's so much more. I won't talk to you about the FUDDY investigation. I understand you've got some IDs on some of the OBOTs. I'm going to get you to tell us what you can there. And then we're going to talk about this funding. How in the world can the sheriff's office be funding this criminal investigation? Isn't that kind of illegal? I mean, you know, you're taking uh, 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 donations for the birth certificate investigation. What's going on with that? So I want to hit all of that when we come back. Is that okay with you, Mike? Yes, sir. Okay, good deal. We're going to take a quick time out. Aren't you glad you're listening to Freedom Friday? Carl Gallus. We'll be right back. Now, back to your turn on 1330 WEBY, Northwest Florida's talk radio. The phone lines are open, so call in and join the conversation at 623-1330. Welcome back to Freedom Friday with Carl Gallup. Sit down, buckle up, and hang on. All right. Well, I hope that you are buckled up and hope that you're hanging on because uh, Mike Zulo is still with us. He's my special guest this afternoon. Mike Zulo, of course, is the uh, lead investigator of the Cold Case Posse, uh, Sheriff Arpaio Obama fraud investigation, which has now turned into a full-blown criminal investigation, has kind of taken, a, uh, I don't want to say a different branch because both, as you just heard Mike Zulo say, both branches of investigation are, are going on simultaneously, uh, but, but they are different. One is strictly revolving around the fraud of the birth certificate, the other one has gone into some deep and nefariously criminal activities, which that's all we can say at this point, and uh, you'll find out very soon. But Mike, uh, thank you for being on the show today. Thanks, Carl. 
I appreciate having you. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out, and I, I don't know. I'm going. My question's probably going to be bigger than your answer because I don't know how much you're going to be able to say. Uh, mm-hmm. And you might be able. You might just have to say, Carl, I can't even comment on that. But, but Obots, we we know that there are operatives out there, Obama loving operatives, and that's okay to love Obama. That's fine. But, but these people have interjected themselves all throughout this investigation in various ways, some to the point of actually, I think, interfering with an investigation, but, but they've interjected themselves on radio and uh, Internet and blog talk radio and on my radio program and all over the, uh, the, the, the blogs and, and web uh, sites. But it, it, isn't it correct? Is it my understanding that you know who some or most of these guys are, or the most important ones? I mean, ha- have you done some digging? You know who these guys are? We have a pretty good idea who some of the ones that are anonymous are. Um, one in particular we know works in the field of artificial intelligence and projects that are funded by DARPA. Okay. So that tells you a lot right there. Tell people who... We have traced IP addresses going back directly to the administration. Right. Wow. Um, wow. And timing on those is very suspicious wow. as to when logins happen and when things are posted. Wow. Wow. Tell folks, so, who, tell folks who DARPA is. DARPA is a DOD agency um, where they are working on, well, for, for lack of a better word, they do a lot of those robotic things that you hear about, you know, killer robots right. and, and things like those, along those lines. Right. They also do some psychological warfare stuff. Right. Um, and, you know, you look at some of the things that these people are doing, and what they're doing, you know, that, that part of this equation, that robot part, right. you know, it's all psychological games. Right. And everything they do is to draw you in, get you into their minutia, you know. Look, turn them off. Right. It is the simplest thing to do. Just turn them off. Show them you know, the- if you go back to the Garden of Eden, <laughs> Eve wouldn't have bit the apple if she just turned the devil off. Right. Just showed in the hand. You know, walk to it. Yeah, talk to the hand. <laughs> <laughs> so don't let them bait you. Don't let them suck you in. Right. Just turn them off. Yeah. They are irrelevant, like you've always been saying. Yeah. Well, you know, and I've used that word for for many many months. They're irrelevant. And and the way I found out, I I, I suppose was as as I began. To, and, and of course, you helped me with this, but began to unravel some of their uh, double talk and double speak. But then when we got to that Xerox machine, and then once all of that was dealt with, I realized this. This is, these guys are irrelevant. They they are nothing but uh, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking disinformation agents. Well, I'll tell you the one thing I will commend them for. Yeah. Throwing up the nonsense Xerox machine yeah. argument. Yeah. Is what got us where we are today. Yeah, well, yes, it did, and that's all we're going to say about that. (laughs) But I'm glad they did it, and you're glad they did it, and Sheriff Arpaio's glad they did it, because that's where everything started branching off into some deep, deep, deep stuff. Yeah. So, so you're 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 confirming that you guys are very, very um, sure, or or yeah, very sure that you know who several of these people are. And uh, well, I'm also Carl. I'm also going to tell you that here, here's. Gameplay that's going to go out now. You're going to hear a complete disembowelment of any association with any agency within the White House or any agency within the federal government. Right. They will start spinning a picture that this is nonsense, yada, 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 tinfoil hat stuff. Right. That's going to be their play. Deny, deny, deny. Right. But, but they're lying, lying, lying because you've got the goods, right? I've got the proof, proof, proof. Okay, good. <laughs> and the, okay, yeah, true. good deal, good deal. Well, it will be interesting because I know they listen to this program. It'll be interesting to see how they spin all of this later. Of course, as you just predicted, we'll be called nuts and tin ball hat. But within months, uh, weeks, months, people will soon know the truth. Okay. Well, let me move along. Uh, we've only, oh gosh, we've only got a couple minutes. What do you want to talk about? The Fuddy investigation. I mean, <laughs> what, what do you? What, what do you think about all that? I mean, the plane crash, do you, do you see any nefariousness in that? What are you guys thinking, or what can you tell us about that? Look, we, we stood by. I think I, I, we pulled off the side of the road when that thing happened, and I was on your radio program then. I remember, yeah. Our position right now still is it was an unfortunate accident. Are there things that are unsettling? Yes, they are. There, are, there definitely are. But you need the answers to those questions. Right. And until such time as information surfaces, and understand the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office has no jurisdiction to investigate that matter. Right. 
So we're held at bay here as well. But until information surfaces, you have to look at it right now as just an ungodly coincidence. Right, right. Um, but there are things that are that are troubling. But on the other hand, Carl, you know, not being involved in this kind of level of, quote, conspiracy. Right. we got 30 seconds, Mike. This kind of conspiracy analysis. I watched how theories were put out on the Internet within 30 seconds. Right. You have to slow down. Right. This is where you damage credibility. Yes. And, and that would be my advice. Just slow down. Don't worry about spinning it up. Slow down and let's see how this thing plays out. Right. That's that's very good advice, Mike. Mike, we are going to have you back on. Thank you for taking time with us today. God bless you. Thank you, Carl. All right. Bye. Good deal. Well, folks, you just heard it from Mike Zulo, some of the very latest. We'll have him back on soon for more because there's so much more that he could say and I could say. But we've run out of time. We've come to the bottom of the hour. You're listening to Freedom Friday with Carl Gallops. When we come back, Mike Shoesmith and I will go at it. We're going to have a great time. You can. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.